I was looking through some of the old footage I had and I found uh, a bit of footage of this beautiful little wombat that I hand raised and her name was Millie and she was one of my most favourite wombats. She was so loving and so affectionate. I looked after Millie for quite a while and at one stage I had to go away for a little while and so I let my best friend Jennifer look after Millie and Jennifer and I were just you know, very good friends at the time but I was very keen on Jennifer. When Bill asked me to mind Millie I was so excited because I had never minded a wombat. I hadn't had a lot of close contact with wombats. I was working with them, with them but having them in my home being able to cuddle Millie and look after her and feed her was very exciting so I was thrilled to say yes to Bill when he asked me to mind Millie. Later that evening uh, I had to prepare the evening meal and Millie was at the age where wombats usually are extremely affectionate and they want to be with their mums all the time so she just wanted to be held and cuddled constantly but I couldn't put her down under my feet I couldn't cook the meal while cuddling her I did a lot of other things while she was in one arm but for her safety she needed to be somewhere away from the kitchen so I thought the best place to be uh, for her to be would be in the laundry where she'd be safe, it'd be warm, she'd have food on the floor. So I put her in there and left her. She started scratching at the door but I thought she'll settle down after a few minutes so I went off to do my jobs. After about an hour or so I went to check on her thinking that that time of day she might have been asleep and she was still scratching at the door and when I opened the door the lino uh, in the laundry was completely torn up and exposed and there was bits of lino everywhere. So wombats, um, when they're separated from their mums, they can become uh, quite desperate and they'll do anything to get to their mums. And of course, I held her for the rest of the evening. But regardless of the damage uh, of the laundry, I was still thrilled to have Millie for the next couple of days and to be able to cuddle her and hold her was just a huge privilege. It was even hard to give her back. I sort of felt a little bit bad that Millie had uh, done a bit of damage to Jennifer's house. And in a way of sort of saying sorry and sort of also wanting to give Jennifer something, I drew a picture and a watercolour of Jennifer holding Millie, hoping that she feels good about Millie afterwards. Sitting at my computer one evening and there was an inbox from Bill. I thought, oh, what's, what's this from Bill? And there is this beautiful drawing that he had done uh, in watercolour of me and Millie. And I was stunned and shocked and quite blown away by it actually and uh, to me it was like receiving the ultimate bunch of flowers from Bill. I was quite flooded and, and I treasure that, that painting to this day. And so here's a bit of footage of Millie herself. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.